Hey everyone, what's up? It's your girl, the Venusian Bull, and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm so excited because in this series of videos, we are going to be discussing planets in the 11th house. Okay. It's about to get futuristic up in here. All right. We about to be in the future in this bitch. Okay. All right. So, um, you know how it is, you know how we do, we're going to do a little introduction video, a little cute intro, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to break down the planets in the 11th house one by one. Okay. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, share, and tell a friend, tell many friends, tell a whole goddamn organization. Okay. Um, because this is the 11th house we're talking about here. All right. So just a little bit of background on the 11th house and kind of the general characteristics. You know, the 11th house is akin to Aquarius. Um, Aqua uh, the 11th house is very, um, it's very revolutionary. It's very innovative. It's very um, eclectic kind of energy. Um, it also has to deal with hopes and wishes and dreams, as well as, you know, large groups and organizations and like being a humanitarian and um, things of that nature. So it's kind of like a wide array of things. And when I go through each of the planets, um, you'll see some distinct things that I may discuss that I may not discuss in other videos because it'll be, you know, specific to that planet. All right. So a couple more quick hits on the 11th house. So the 11th house also represents the LGBTQIA community. I think I covered all of the letters in that alphabet. Um, so yes, it represents the LGBTQ plus community. And um, whether you are a part of this community, whether you're an advocate for this community, whether you have friends that are in this community, or whether you just interact on a regular basis with people in the LGBTQ community, um, that can be found in the 11th house, um, that kind of information. And also, this is the house of friends, okay? What about your friends? Will they stand their ground? Will they let you down again? So this is all about friends. So throughout me discussing the planets in the 11th house, and I know that singing was bad, y'all. Um, but anyway, throughout me discussing the planets in the 11th house, I'm also going to discuss um, what that planet means in terms of how you are as a friend as well. So this is another relationship house, like the seventh house and like the eighth house, but it kind of deals with relationships on a large scale. You know, this is about the collective. It's not about individual relationships or romantic relationships. It's about, you know, your friendships, your platonic, you know, relationships and things like that. And also, you know, any types of, you know, organizations and uh, groups that you may be involved in with like-minded people. So, you know, I just had to get that tidbit in there. You know, I got to be thorough, okay? Bitch got to be thorough up in this piece, all right? So, uh, yeah, so I just had to get that in. So stay tuned for more. And of course, as a disclaimer, I let y'all y'all know that I can be quite literal in these videos. Yes, I'm literal on purpose because I make my videos not only for the people who are experienced in astrology, which the 11th house also represents, but also for the newbies that are coming in. So I want to, you know, make sure that they understand. So sometimes I can be overly literal. However, if you have um, any placements in this particular house, just know that depending on what sign is on the 11th house cusp, what aspects um, other planets are making to this planet and things like that. It can definitely modify this energy. Okay. So take this with a grain of salt. Okay. Um, so these are the general characteristics that I'm going to be discussing as it pertains to the 11th house. Um, I think I covered most of the things. It's not like a whole bunch of stuff, but y'all know how it is when I get into these videos, I start yap, 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 yapping. And a video I thought that was going to be five minutes turns into 25. So, um, I'm not even going to say necessarily that these will be short video, shorter videos, but we may, we may, we may be shorter. Um, also, you know, the 11th house is dealing with everything in the abstract, um, technology, 
social media, you know, forward thinking, um, progressivism, you know, all of that is very much 11th house energy. Okay. So without any further ado, we just going to get to it. We just going to get in it. You know what I'm saying? We're going, we're going to zoom to the future. Like, all right, I'll see you in 2025. Bye. All right, so um, we're going to be discussing sun in the 11th house, okay? All right, so having sun in the 11th house is similar to having sun in Aquarius or having Leo on the 11th house cusp, okay? So this is a very um, interesting placement because as y'all know, um, Leo and Aquarius, they, well, y'all might know, but they oppose each other. So they're opposing energy. So you're putting the sun, which is all about the ego and pride and personality and, you know, um, kind of just putting your self out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're putting that energy in the house of, of groups and humanitarian work and organizations. Basically, you're putting the sun in the house that's not all about you, okay? So it's low-key like saying, you got the sun in the 11th house, but it is not all about you. It is just not, you know? So especially if you got sun and Leo in the 11th house, you know, you kind of need to, you know, get up off that high horse and, you know, invite some friends in. Now, this does give very much like, lead singer of a group energy. This is very much the leader of a group. You know what I'm saying? So it's not to say that you can't lead because you most definitely can, but this is not like, it's all about me energy. This is not that. This is about the collective. This is about helping others. And you'll learn to understand and you'll probably have to grow into this or maybe, you know, it comes naturally to you, but you'll understand that you are most fulfilled, like you feel um, your vitality um, is most fulfilled when you are doing something good for like mankind. You know what I'm saying? It's it's very much about, you know, um, being, you know, the revolutionary and being the innovator and being the rebellion and, you know, helping the people, helping the little guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's very much that en energy, helping the underdog. Um, type of energy. So um, you're very much trying to, like throughout your life, you could have been trying to, you know, find your place, find your footing, find your tribe. You know what I'm saying? The 11th house is all about your tribe and finding your tribe. And as a son in the 11th house, you really want to stand out. You know, you, you do want to be the center of attention, but it's like for causes. You know what I'm saying? It's like for the betterment of you know, the world type of thing. Like I want to be, you know, famous or I want to be known for like making the world a better place type of thing. That's like the energy of sun in the 11th house. Um, another great aspect of sun in the 11th house, child, your social media be popping. Okay. I don't care if you are a nobody, like you just got followers. You just got people who are subscribed to you. You are in these streets, okay? And, you know, you're all over the platforms. Like, you be on social media. You're engaging with people. You know, you have content. You know, you're doing things. You're out here in the world. You got social media and internet friends, and you got real friends. Like, you are in the technology streets, so to speak. Um, so you're definitely doing that very much um, inept to, is that a word? Inept? Mm. Very much, uh, keen and into all of the like technological advances. You have all of the gadgets, you know how to use them all. You're the type of person that's always, you know, trying to help people with their gadgets and their devices and fixing them and, you know, telling everybody what's the new kind of thing you should have. Like y'all already got like the iPhone 20, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all are just, you're just already, you're just out there. You're out there in, in spirit, in mind, in physicality, and, you know, just also in terms of your actual, you know, things that you own as far as your, you know, um, 
anything of technology. Like you are up on all of that. Um, so you're just very like much of a forward thinking person. You're, you're kind of like abstracting your thinking. You're not, um, the most like emotional person, so to speak. Um, but you're very much looking for, you're very much looking for, you know, kind of like answers to, you know, different questions and, you know, different, um, like scientific things and mathematic things. You could be a genius. You could be a science and math whiz. You can have a patent on something. You can discover something. You can invent something like, you know, it just, it's just very, you know, out, outside the box type of energy. Um, like I mentioned already, you have a lot of friends. You'll usually attract friends. People are usually like drawn to you. Um, usually like you're pretty like nice, like easygoing, like easy to kind of get along with because you enjoy, you know, the company of others. Um, you know, but you know that you like low key the queen bee, but you do enjoy the company of others. And, um, yeah, you just like to be around people. Like Sun in the 11th house, like is very, like they don't do alone very well. It's so interesting. Like Aquarius energy and 11th house energy is such a contradiction because it's like they want to be eclectic and different and weird and odd and have blue hair and like, you know, purple contacts and, you know, just do everything off the beating path, right? Because remember, this is your identity. The sun is like your identity. It's it's how you see yourself. You know, you want to be that, but you also want to find people who are also like that. Like, who can I find that also has green hair and purple contacts? Like, and who, you know, thinks like me, who acts like me? So you're looking for that, um, you know, relatability and being able to communicate with people. Remember, this is an air house. Um, so we have to understand communication is uh, definitely key, but it's like to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Um, you may be also interested in, in space and, you know, um, astronomy and, you know, Maybe you want to be an astronaut or something like that. Um, that could be something that's very interesting. Also, um, astrology. You could be very much into astrology. Aquarius is the sign um, of astrology. So um, this could be something that could be very interesting to you. And a lot of like the technical aspects and stuff like that. Not so much the... Um, more intuitive approach to astrology, but more of like the, the kind of technicalities of it. But, um, uh, son in the 11th house would be very intrigued and very interested in astrology, but they're also very skeptical of it as well. Like if they don't believe in it, then they're very, very skeptical. And because sun in the 11th house and 11th house uh, Aquarius energy is so like intelligent and smart, like they'll have a rebuttal for everything. They'll question you about everything. They'll always have a comeback. You know what I'm saying? So if it's not this, then it's this. And if it's up, then it's stuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just always like, you could kind of get to the point where, you know, I give up with the Aquarius, but then they like, they, they want you to keep going. It's, it's that, it's that communicative thing. It's that, it's that banter thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, all of the, like, if you have air energy or planets in an air house, you know, your way of communicating with people, sometimes, you know, a debate is very fun. <laughs> it could be very fun for you, but, um, yeah, to kind of like sum it all up, um, you just kind of want to be this, revolutionary person that's a part of a group um that's a part of organizations um you may actually like run a, a facebook group um an online group um and things of that nature um definitely you have a very strong presence in the online community okay um this is definitely an area like seriously if you have sun in the 11th house like get on that YouTube and start a channel like immediately. You know what I'm saying? Get on Instagram and start, you know, making content, make some TikTok videos or something like that. Because it's just, it's just like the energy of you having sun in the 11th house is just, you kind of don't really need to do much. You kind of just need to be you, be different, be eclectic, and you will find your tribe. Like people will come to you. People will flock to you. You will get a following. You know what I'm saying? And you know how to, you know, 
edit your own videos and do all that. You don't got to hire nobody for that because you know how to do all of the technical things. You already going to have the best camera. You already have it. You already have the goods. You have the knowledge to back it up and you already have the goods. So, um, yeah, just just get on there and just do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, another thing about the 11th house, doesn't matter how like, you know, dull your your sun sign. I'm not going to say dull or whatever, but how like, let's just say this and I'm a Taurus. So let's just keep it a buck here. Like, let's say you got ta sun and Taurus in the 11th house. Taurus is the most stagnant, unchanging type of energy ever but you have sun in the 11th house in Taurus, DC. So like your innovativeness is going to be very Taurus-like. You know what I'm saying? This is just an example. I'm not doing this for every sign, y'all, but innovative in terms of how you make money, innovative in terms of the food you like, innovative in terms of, you know, kind of like the luxury that you indulge in. You know what I'm saying? Innovative in, you know, interior design or innovative in music. You know what I'm saying? That's a big one. That's a big one. The singing. You may have a really interesting, quirky kind of like singing voice or something like that. So you got to think about that with the sign on the 11th house cusp. Like what makes you quirky? Like what makes you eclectic? What makes you different? And then with your son there, then you can apply like oh, okay. So this is what makes me feel alive. This is what makes me feel you know, like myself, this is how I see myself. So I need to, you know, apply this. So that's kind of how, you know, it works with, you know, the sun being in a particular house. So in this instance, we're talking about the 11th house. So just make sure you're thinking about that um, when you're listening to this placement. And also remember to watch all of the videos because you never know when your son is transiting the 11th house, okay? You see what might be popping off, seeing like this may be a good time to, you know, get on social media. This may be a good time to meet new friends. This may be a good time to like maybe get a new phone or get a new device or, you know, something like that. Join an organization, join, join a cause. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, be revolutionary in these, in these streets, you know, maybe you become a little bit more, you know, progressive in your thinking, um, especially, you know, politically and things like that. So, you know, it can promote a lot of like revelations and a lot of like aha kind of moments and things like that. Um, so they do say that the 11th house or, you know, Aquarius can kind of be um, prophetic kind of energy. So, you know, when you have planets transiting that house or if you have planets in this house, so just remember, you know, to think about that kind of thing. And specifically for the sun in the 11th house, think about your tribe that you belong to where you can stand out where you can still be an individual within the tribe. Cause that's kind of the culmination of sun in the 11th house, still being an individual, you know what I'm saying? But existing amongst, you know, others, you know what I'm saying? And still being able to deal with others and be around others and for others to like you. This is a very likable energy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's sun, it's fun, it's youthful, it's effervescent and stuff like that. But it's just, you know, it's just a little, little bit off the beating path, just a little weird, just a little quirky, just a little eclectic. And you're finding your tribe and you're finding where you can be yourself um, comfortably and other people can be themselves and you guys kind of, you know, thrive together. So good luck out there with you guys with Sun in the 11th House finding your tribe. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you happen to have this placement, please sound off in the comments below. Let me know what I'm missing because I know I miss some things, child. Um, the 11th house ain't nothing to play with, okay? It could get a little confusing, get a little abstract up in these... Uh, up in the heavens in this part of the sky, okay? So definitely let me know um, what you think about this video. If you know anyone with this placement, let me know if this resonated with you. Remember again to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.